welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and as you can see, today is my living room reveal. So my living room was dark in color. It looked like fall all year long, y'all. And although nothing is wrong with that, I wanted to change. I bought my home 11 years ago and it's been the same dark colors and I wanted to lighten things up. So stick around to see my living room transformation. I can't wait to show you guys the final reveal. Here I'm showing you a different angle. I started this makeover in October of 2021. So it actually was decorated for fall at this time. When I do a project, sometimes it takes me a long time because I don't rush y'all. I like to take my time and make sure I like everything and to find the right items before I commit. I don't want to be six months down the road and realize I hate this. So yes, it took me a little over a year. y'all ignore my living room I know it's a hot mess right now but that's because I'm trying to redo it anyway I have all my <laughs> um, fall stuff over there but the reason why I have things on top and it may look like it's not heavy but I put a bunch of stuff on the inside of these so that way it can hold down the wood but um, I could probably take it off now because it's been like three days. Y'all remember my black end tables and coffee table and that table over there? I painted them white and then I measured the wood and I glued them down. So anyway, yes, I measured the table and I went to Home Depot and had them cut me some wood and I glued it on here. And like I said, the reason why all this stuff is on there is just so it can hold it down and I need to sand it to make it smooth and then I am going to stain it. So this is the last you guys will see of it until it's all done. But yeah, that's what I may do tonight and as you can see, yeah, I showed you guys that already. I feel like I showed you guys the paint on the wall and I also did some right there and that actually failed but it's okay because I was gonna take it down anyway to paint the wall. So yeah, you guys. And this right here is just the caulking that I was using. And then I mixed it, not mixed it, but I also put E6000 on it. So, yeah. to paint the black part of my fireplace using this high heat paint from Home Depot. showing that I'm painting my bookshelf which is actually my movie case because I am not a fan of the 90s 
builder grade wood color. So here I'm gonna prime the walls. Y'all, I have vaulted ceilings and even though it may not look that high, it is because I have a fear of heights. So I just had to power through to get this done. Fade away, cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so... So usually I cut in first when I paint But this day my anxiety level being on the ladder was so high But I had to muster up the courage to continue so in the next clip you're gonna see this little doohickey that i use for edging like getting close up to the walls up there where the brown is and it helped tremendously okay okay maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i'm never fell this way i really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I'm So, huge vlogger fail. I accidentally deleted the footage of me painting the walls. I've done this before, y'all. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> but anyway, the painting is done. The color is gray. It's called Philosophical Gray or philosoph yeah, Philosophical Gray from Home Depot. And I know it looks bluish in certain areas on camera, but that's because the color gray has blue undertones. But trust me, it's gray and I absolutely love it. It's finally time for my favorite part, and that's the decorations. I am putting everything up that's here and stuff that's up there. Don't mind my daughter's game system and the games. We're going to put that away and some stuff on the table. And then I also have a few items in, um, I think, that drawer right there that I'm going to put on top of the console right there. So, yes, finally decoration time. I still have two items that... I have coming in the mail this week but I'm getting so excited and I can't wait for those to start decorating so those will just be seen in the final reveal so let's get started <laughs> Thank you. 
I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do Hold my breath, I'm reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now Yeah.
so I've been told by many of people that I should paint this brick fireplace white or whitewash it and that is in the plans but for now I am still enjoying the original brick because if I whitewash it or paint it I can't change it back so I will be painting it or whitewashing it in the future but just not now because I'm still enjoying the original brick and I'm not one of those type of people where oh it's wood you don't want to mess it up and paint it or leave the fireplace as is no it's going to be changed eventually but as for now I'm still enjoying it so yeah
thank you guys so much for watching thank you for allowing me to share my living room makeover i really enjoyed doing this you guys please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and be kind be well and i will see you guys in the next video bye